what's up YouTube I'm coming on here with a sense of urgency a sense of urgency in my heart for souls at this point in time there seems to be a lot of distraction a lot of distraction on TV a lot of distraction on the internet a lot of distraction and busyness in our lives that makes the winning of souls or or the information that Jesus can save your soul tends to be clouded it becomes a low priority and see that's the way the devil wants it he wants you to be busy too busy to tell people about Jesus he wants you to be too busy to for people to accept Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. He just wants you to be distracted. And I've been noticing all this year that there's been event after event after event to get your mind off of Jesus. The economy, uh, television, and it is absolutely zero on television. I mean. Television is crazy. You had more people waiting to see what decision LeBron James would make instead of the decision someone who has not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior would make. This is the time to start focusing on eternal, eternal things. This is the time to start thinking about eternity. Ask yourself, where would you spend eternity if you died tonight? If you died, where would you spend eternity? Because you're going to spend it one to, or two places. One of two places. It's either heaven or hell. Anyone who has not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior will go to hell. It's, it's simple. It's not a scare tactic. There's people who go around just barking at all the time. But the Lord would love for you to choose him based on the information of his love towards you. But I need you to understand something. I need you to understand that if you had a son and complete strangers were on death row and you said I want all these complete strangers to live and you sacrificed your son instead so that all these people who deserve to be there could be set free would you do that you wouldn't do that because you love your son more than you love these people but God did do that see that's the love that goes beyond our natural comprehension God knew that these people us needed a savior because we were doomed to hell we were just doomed to hell and we needed a savior and he sent his only begotten son his only begotten at the time and now that he we can accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. We are sons as well. I encourage you to really block out the distractions. Get with God to see what He would really want you to do. I encourage you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link right here to a video I did before that'll lead you straight through it. This is on my heart tonight and I think it's important that everybody makes a decision about what they're going to do about Jesus soon. Please don't get caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the distractions. Don't get caught up in the BT awards. Don't get caught up in all this junk that doesn't mean a hill of beans when God 
when you stand before God and he says, I know all of the sin that you did, but I made a way for you to escape through my son. What did you do with my son? Did you accept him as your personal Lord and Savior? Or were you distracted? What are you going to say?